apparently Martha Stewart is launching a skincare line or did launch a skincare line. I have some confessions to make and we are going to look at this for the first time uh, together because this just, this case, I was not expecting this from Martha Stewart, but there's actually a lot of things that both myself and other people didn't expect from Martha Stewart. So you're probably wondering who's this bitch talking about Martha Stewart on this YouTube channel. Well, it's my YouTube channel, so I'm going to talk about what I want in the words of D'Angelo Wallace. Welcome to me talking about anything I want. And on top of that, I'm a medical esthetician. I've personally struggled with my own acne. I've been an expert in the industry for over 10 years and worked with doctors, dermatologists, and cosmetic formulators. So we're gonna just see what's going on. And big confession, when some of our team members first told me that Martha Stewart launched a skincare line, I thought that she was Paula Deen. And I was like, is she the racist butter one? But no, apparently that is Paula Deen. And you see, I grew up watching Barefoot Contessa. What is that, Nina Gratine? You know, with her eggs and omelets and whatnot. So I, I expected more of myself. I expected myself to know this one, but I didn't because apparently me growing up with like three TV stations, which was the news, that one that played Mythbusters and the Barefoot Contessa. There weren't even cartoons. We had like two news channels. Um, Didn't serve me very well. So let's see if the skincare routine will serve our faces. The way that Martha Stewart served jail time. Did you know that Martha Stewart went to jail? Is this new news or is it just me? <laughs> Martha Stewart went to jail for I think five months for some some sort of financial type of thing. Very interesting. I didn't know this until reading up on her, but apparently they called her something like inmate cupcake or Ms. Cupcake. And people thought that her jail sentence was going to ruin her career, but apparently it didn't. Before she went to jail, she's been the best-selling author of multiple books. She talks about all things cooking and home improvement and just kind of like that nice lifestyle person who you'd want to sit down and have a cup of coffee with. But apparently she's also the type of person that ASAP Rocky wants to sit down with and and smoke a blunt with. I kid you not. This is a pair that I never thought that I'd see hang out together. But you know what? If he likes cupcakes and she likes weed, that is a friendship made in homey heaven. And since then, she's still shared things about cooking and living. I don't even know, like, what is it? Like lifestyle? Like, what do you call that? Like, hi, I live like a person who has flowers that aren't dead. I don't kill my plants. Wow, Martha, must be nice. Teach me your ways, because right now, one of us is not doing so well on the plant front. <laughs> she returned to the Martha Stewart show. She launched some new books. Apparently, she roasted Justin Bieber. Let's get to the reason I'm here tonight, which is to give Justin Bieber some tips to use when he inevitably ends up in prison. <laughs> I've been in law. Several bad puns later. Justin, before I go, here's my final piece of advice. You need to settle down, bring some balance into your life. Find yourself the right gal, but she'll have to be someone on your level, someone powerful and famous and rich. So, Justin, my final piece of advice is call me. Or... <laughs> Other fellow celebrities are not the only people that she roasts. Apparently, she also roasts the marijuana. Apparently, she is an investor in the CBD company, Canopy Growth, as of 2019. And yes, she has started a CBD skincare line. I am perplexed and confused. She has these new CBD wellness topicals, and I want to look into these. I want to peek at the claims. I want to see if they're any good. And I want to see if this is something that's actually worth spending our money on. Now, also think of the target demographic of Martha Stewart. It is, uh, you know, probably the lifestyle moms of the world that want the house or the cooking, the things that are similar to hers. Are these really the people that are into CBD? When you think of how skincare lines are marketed, you normally market to a specific set of consumers. You want to understand who they are, what they like, and what they need, so you can actually solve a problem and help them. That's what an entrepreneur does. Now, there are also celebrity cash grabs, where instead of solving a problem or helping a community, you're literally just slapping your name on something and trying to get money for it. Now, when cash grabs happen, the cash grabs are normally marketed by celebrity or influencer to the people that are most likely to buy them. For instance, we've all seen the influencer meme coins of the cryptocurrency world. You know, is it the doo doo coin? Is it the tits coin? Uh, you know, Tana Mojo is selling the tits coin to the people who are most likely to buy it. Okay, okay. Now, Martha Stewart, I get the bed linens. I get the cookware. CBD skincare just doesn't sound like something her target demographic would like. But then again, maybe I don't know her target demographic. Maybe her target demographic is the hippies of the 1960s who are all grown up, in which case this would make a lot of sense. Yeah, it also makes a lot of 
sense. So here's an article from MarthaStewart.com talking about how she just launched her first line of CBD skincare products. Does that, does that mean that there's going to be more? More than one? <laughs> Multiple CBD skincare lines? I am confusion. Let's see all about her brand new topicals, which include three creams designed to target different wellness concerns. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Is this going to be like the grown-up convict version of Goop? just like a less organic, more hype version of Goop. I don't know. Martha's first ever CBD products officially dropped in September of 2020. How did I not know about this? This article was written in January. Canopy growth. But if you know our founder, you also know that she is always working on her next great idea. Her wellness line became with gummies, soft gels, and oil drops. Oh no, not the edibles. Literally the edibles. Oh my God, did you know that I learned my terminology? Says the girl who's never smoked the weed, I learned my CBD terminology. Okay, apparently she has an entire portfolio of CBD products that are supposed to be nutritional. But again, that just screams cash grab and sus. S sus supplements to me. The products which support daily well-being consist of three creams for muscle recovery, better sleep, and stress management. That sounds like a lot of placebo-based hype, specifically because knowing the research that we have behind CBD and our body's endocannabinoid system, yes, there are some things that help, but CBD is different than THC, which is different than hemp, and the concentrations of these things are different, and we just don't have enough actual medical research to prove or disprove some of these claims. Each cream is packed with market leading levels of CBD, powered by coactives and aroma technology. Ah, there's the claim, the aroma technology. Now that actually makes sense because you can have an exact response based on the way you smell something. It can trigger memories or feelings, you know, lavender sprayed on your pillow, feel good before you go to bed. Real estate agents spray vanilla cookie scent throughout the house to make it feel homey when you go to look at a house, unless you're in the Bay Area and literally a house that got lit on fire cost $600,000 or a piece of trash house that is a hoarder's fever dream sells for a million in Fremont. Oh yeah. So yes, scent can be a wonderful thing, but let's see how much this costs and what it looks like. Each cream is packed with market leading levels of CBD, powerful co-actives. See, a lot of buzzwords, whenever you see a ton of buzzwords, get suspicious. I am a critic and a skeptic and I am getting suspicious. Three different sizes. Uh, Martha says, quote, I am thrilled to help improve our customers' daily lives through proven formulations that make wellness accessible and convenient with offerings that address muscle discomfort, sleep deprivation, and stress. Again, proven by who and by what? That is what I want to know. There are some medical studies on CBD and marijuana, but not to the place that we need them to be. And if you have money, fine, throw it at things. But like, have you seen those stupid commercials where they're like feeding the dog CBD oil and they're like, little Pookie can walk again. CBD for dogs before and after. CBD, 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 CBD. My dog hadn't gone up the stairs in four years. Now he can move like he did as a young dog again. Thanks to pet CBD. Well, let's see what we got. They have a best for sleep day de-stress cream, a best for muscle recovery, super strength cream, Martha Stewart CBD sleep science cream. God no, do not bring science into this if you are not being scientific. Oh, and a related article of how Martha Stewart prioritizes wellness in every aspect of her life. This is also very weird. It's shopcanopy.com. There's like three link redirects, so they're tracking everything. The first thing that comes up is a sign up for our newsletter. Martha Stewart, I don't want your newsletter. Martha Stewart daily de-stress cream. This is a daily de-stress cream. You know what? The packaging is very, very pretty. One time purchase for $34.99 or subscribe and save for $29 if you want some BS CBD sent to you all the time. There are some CBD products that I actually recommend. One of the best is Dew from Charlotte on TikTok. She actually uses medical studies to back up and does testing on her products that are CBD based. I would recommend that over this any day. This does have neroli, which is great and, you know, a nice antioxidant. It says, helps keep life's ups and downs in perspective with this mood boosting aroma technology. Get yourself an essential oil diffuser. You don't need to slap it on your face. That could actually cause irritation. 2% broad spectrum CBD in every tube. And by the way, there are differences between broad spectrum, full spectrum CBD hemp oil. I've actually done an article that was published in a magazine about it. If you want to read that, feel free. Pause the video, take a screenshot, enjoy. But they've got 2% broad spectrum CBD in every tube. Massage into hands and body and inhale deeply. 
Wait, 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 am I inhaling this or am I putting it on my face or am I putting it on my hands? Oh, maybe this isn't even a face cream. Did I just assume that this is a face cream? Oh, it is vegan and cruelty free. Oh, we might have to try it. Hey, they did a panel of 90 participants, which is actually pretty good over 21 days. They felt more relaxed and soothed. Okay, that's actually great. We love to hear that. But wait, look at the ingredients. The ingredients. Really good moisturizing ingredients and essential oils. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Okay, we've got some good stuff in here. Again, we have water, we have sweet almond oil, we have jojoba oil, basic but good olive oil. Bring, bring, Jennifer Lopez wants her olive oil back. And then yes, we have CBD, we have ginger, which we love to see, you know, for a little bit of an antioxidant boost. And then it's just fragrance. We have bitter orange fragrance. We have chamomile fragrance. We have geranial fragrance. We have straight up fragrance fragrance. We have wood oil. We have all of these, like why? This is just a moisturizer with smelly stuff. This probably costs as a base formula, 50 cents to make. And then if you're going to add in the CBD, price and the price of CBD. I don't know the price of raw CBD or CBD oils or full spectrum. So maybe two, three dollars, three dollars if it's being sold for 30. Yeah, that would make sense that a 10X markup because if you didn't know, most of the skincare industry does have a 10X markup. Okay, this might be a full body cream, CBD cream. Uh, I no longer support the body shop, but the body shop's CBD products are way better than this. Let's look at muscle recovery. There are some topicals like Arnica that can help with muscle recovery, but overall, what the fuck? And if this doesn't have arnica gel, like what is it that topically in here is giving us the muscle recovery? Oh, this one's purple. Oh, I like the purple. So this is the super strength cream. Again, is this a body cream? This is the super strength. 86% of people said that it soothed their muscles. That's great. Was this placebo controlled or not? So we have water, we have sweet almond oil, we have jojoba, olive, a very similar look to the original one. Now we do have magnesium chloride. This is actually good. We have gluconolactone. These are great. This actually makes more sense to me. It's still got, again, throw in all of the scents. You got clove, you got pepper, you got rosemary, you got ginger, you got the fragrance fragrance. You've got basically pepper fruit oil. Like all of this is just fragrance. How much are they charging for this? <laughs> zero reviews, <laughs> zero reviews, zero stars. Hasn't this been out since 2020? Martha, make it make sense. Oh, this one's $44.99, a little more expensive. I would go for something that is magnesium chloride and arnica gel, but you know what? This one, this one we don't hate quite as much. I hate the airplanes more than this one. Do you hear the airplanes? I live right under a jet stream. It's great. Oh no, and then, of course we had to save the best for last. The CBD science cream. I haven't read all of the literature on CBD and sleep. There's nothing proven here that I'm currently aware of. We're gonna have to do another re-up, another deep dive. You see, CBD is so trendy. Because of all this, there is new research into CBD and I'm not fully up to date on everything, so maybe there's something new. But as far as I know, um, this is a bold claim. Like, don't sit here and tell me that this cream is going to help you go to sleep. Right here, I was able to find a review from 2019, which is good, but this specifically states, one association often reported by users is sedation and subjective improvements in sleep. Subjective, as in one's self versus objective, something that everyone can observe. Even this paper that's looking at a review of multiple other papers is saying that it's very subjective. How does this actually work? And they're even stating here that sleep is secondary rather than the primary outcome. So for instance, a lot of these studies looked at things like PTSD or multiple sclerosis neurosis, other conditions, and then sleep was like, okay, something we added on as opposed to being the main focus of the study. So yeah, I, as of 2019, it doesn't look like there is a ton, but I don't know. It's also very subjective. What are the long-term effects? Oh yeah, and what are the long-term effects of cannabinoid use, both topically and uh, orally, and then also through inhalation? There's a lot of people who have actually had to be put on pacemakers who are chronic stoners, chronic weed smokers. A lot of people don't realize that there are some actual heart complications. And then whether it's weed or insulin, or candle scents or cigarette smoke, just having your lungs and your alveolar sacs absorb, you know, a lot of these particles is probably not the best thing, but we don't have a lot of research on that. Obviously, you know, it's probably not as bad as tobacco, actual nicotine, but the fact that there are some things that we inhale and that coat our lungs, that coating is not always a good thing. And again, speak to your doctor about this. This is not medical advice. This is just general advice, a first impression, and a little bit of an overview of me trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with Martha Stewart. But yeah, these are some bold 
claims on this cream and speak to your doctor about your lung health and pulmonary conditions because it is very, very important. And you don't want to be a blue bloater or a pink puffer when you're older. And there is some data to suggest that people who smoke and vape may be headed down that very same pathway. And if you don't know what blue bloaters are or pink puffers, then and you don't want to find out, so don't smoke, kids. Yay! This video is sponsored by not smoking. Just kidding! Actually, this video is sponsored by Martha Stewart's Thirst Trap. If you've been a part of this channel, you know that there is no age on sexy. You know that we don't age and get older and wither away, but we age up. We level up around here. And when we level up and grow into ourselves like fine non-alcoholic wine or fine vegan cheese, you know we gotta show it off on the social meads. Social meds, social medias, social medias. Martha Stewart, yes, has a TikTok, and yes, has a thirst trap, and damn, she's looking fine. And this video is sponsored by not Martha Stewart's skincare line, not Martha Stewart's cupcakes, not Martha Stewart's CBD, but Martha Stewart's thirst trap by Clay de Popo. Apparently, she uses a myriad of things to make her face look amazing, and she um, chants things to herself in the mirror. But yes, her thirst trap is phenomenal, and it just goes to to show that you can't put an age or a price on fucking fabulous perfection. If there's anyone to teach us that, it's Martha. Something just hit me. This TikTok of her thirst trap is sponsored by Clay de Popo. And this YouTube video is sponsored by Martha Stewart's thirst trap. Hashtag sponsored, hashtag actually not sponsored, but we're just gonna go with it and say it's sponsored. The question is, Martha Stewart is now selling CBD skincare. So is her secret sauce the Clay de Popo that she's advertising in this thirst trap? Or is her secret sauce her skincare, CBD skincare line. Make it make sense, Martha. Anyways, uh, we love a good thirst trap. Follow and subscribe. <laughs> Back to the sleep cream, the science cream. I'm so sorry. This one, ooh, the actual benefits from their studies are like, the results are less and less confident with each one. This one has only 84% of people said that they felt relaxed. Only 77 said that they had more restful sleep and only 73 fell asleep faster. I don't trust any of this. This has a 3%. This has soothing lavender and patchouli. Very interesting. This was also only 79 participants, but at least they tested it. Let's see what we've got in here. Water, sweet almond oil, jojoba. Again, this is the same base formula over and over and over. They literally took the same base formula, they shoved CBD in it, and then they just shoved fragrance in it. This is a cash grab from the outside perspective of my subjective opinion. This looks to me like a cash grab. It smells like a cash grab. We have fragrance, we have ginger, we have camphor, we have chamomile, we have patchouli. This is basically oils, nice and hydrating for skin. And then essential oils make a smelly smelly nice. Tell me how that's making anyone fall asleep. I'm not buying it unless you want me to because it's vegan and cruelty free and if I have to try it, then I'll buy it. But there are other CBD products I would recommend so much more. What do you think? Is this a cash grab or is this like a nice you know, Martha Stewart hangs out with her cannabis and puts it on her skin and teaches everyone in the world how to look great and feel great and go to sleep. I don't know. And muscle recovery. Yeah, what is Martha Stewart doing with muscle recovery? Does she run marathons? Like, is she, does she lift? But do you lift, bro? We have just gone down a rabbit hole of what the fuckery. I don't know what is going on. Um, but if you want me to try it, I will. And if there's another CBD brand that you'd like me to try instead, I'd much rather do that. And I will do both of those after reading up a little bit more on the new data and new studies that have been published within the last six months on CBD, just to have a better understanding of what the fuck is going on, because based on this, I have no clue. Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Make sure that you find the hidden kitten in this video, and I might just pin you to the top of the comments, Mr. Baleen style. And we've actually got a super secret meme at the end of every video, and if you catch them all, you might get a prize. Yeah, maybe we could do like a, a deep dive on the scams of CBD, because it gets deep. It actually doesn't get deep, it gets high. <laughs> See what I did there? Because <laughs> hot. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, that's enough. Love you guys. <sighs> Bye.